Hello everyone. Uh, so, well, I just thought I'd um, I'd try this on this transformer. This has got a it's a 30 volt transformer. So when we do our 30 volts times 1.414, we get 42 volts. Um, we got to sort of lose one and a half volts of that because of the the bridge rectifier. And as you can see over there, I'm sure you can see. I got the uh, temperature, monitoring the temperature. On this side is the bottom one, temperature one. And on this side, uh, sorry, let me just show that to you a bit better. This side is the bottom temperature, temperature one. It's pretty much all the way down, halfway down there. Uh, so it's not quite on the back of the transistors because I'm using the little gullies that are sort of built into this to push the wire down. And then the top temperature there, 34.7, is this one here. And what we're going to do is, if I can just back that off there, is I'm going to power this on now. And you can, we're going to be able to see those temperatures going up. I wonder if I can just bring this in a little bit better, even if it's on its side. Does that make it any better? Oh, it's all right when you're doing it yourself, just looking, but as soon as you start thinking you've got to get it for somebody else to see it, it gets a bit different, doesn't it? All right, well, I mean, that's that's good as good as we're going to have it. So what I'm going to do now is um, we're just going to go into the waveforms over here. Okay, so we've got waveforms open, and as you can see on here, um, I'll just move this across. This is where we got to. This is what I managed to pull out of it. It's 27.771 volts AC RMS. Uh, I'm just going to do it again now for you. And we can see for yourself how this goes up. I've no idea I'm going to get all these on to. I'm just going to drop the voltage on that. I'm going to pop that on there. And we're just going to look just for the second, just to see if it starts going up all on its tods, just while, um, just why that's plugged in and not doing anything else. Because it's that quiescent current thing, you see, I said before, where, because it was going to be quite high, it almost seemed like it was just going to get warmer and warmer and warmer. So we can see it's starting to go up, even though there's no input actually going into it. The temperature is getting higher. But, all right, let's just, uh, we'll just have to get past that for now. I mean, that's going to happen anyway. What we just don't want it to do is just run away completely. I don't think it's going to. I think it's probably going to get up into the 40s. I've seen it up there anyway. Um, and I'm just sharing this for you because I've been playing with the thing. So let's just back that off a little bit and I'm going to start putting some power into this. I'm just trying to figure out a way that I can keep that on the screen. Yeah, I can shift it over onto there. That's all right. So we know we've got 42 volts coming in per side or, you know, around about 42 volts coming in the side of this MX50. And I am now going to start running so let's go and I'm gonna turn the output on okay so our output's out at the moment there's our fundamental going in there at uh, one kilohertz there's our two kilohertz three four five six and so on all the way up to 20 kilohertz could probably put this onto 30 maybe I just type that in there 30 uh, just give that a little bit of extra there. So we're going from zero kilohertz as well. well I've got 10 volts per division. Uh, I could pull that down a little bit. Uh, 10 volts per division. And I'm just going to start going up the voltage now until we get our bit of clipping. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just make it easier for us all to see. Uh, get down to 500 microseconds and start just taking that up. Well, there we go, clipping top and bottom. And uh, now I'm going to just drop that off until I see that's no longer clipping. It stopped clipping at the top before it stops clipping at the bottom. 
Uh, about there will do it. Let me just chuck the sample up. Okay, so we're about there. That looks like it's still got a big clip on it, so I'm just going to back that off. One more, two more, three more. Just going to back it off till I see. So that you can see it going up, clipping, clipping. Just going to back that down so it's just not really doing anything. That's it, that'll do it. I think we should be quite happy there. I'm going to stop that there. Stop the output so we don't have to. And you can see the temperature has gone up there, but we should have expected that anyway, because that's a lot of signal to be putting through there. So while that's just doing that, I'll leave it up on the screen, just in the corner there, keeping on it. We're going to do a quick bit of math on this. So we've got 27.869. And so we're going to go 27.869 times 27.869. That equals 776.68. Wow, well, and we're going to divide that by the 8 ohms. So we got ourselves 97 watts. It's pretty good going. 97 watts. It's, remember this, well, it says it's uh, plus minus 45 on this one. I think that's for the full 100 watts into 8 ohms. So that certainly delivers. And we have a look down at the FFT. Let's just make that all a bit bigger. But you can see that anything coming out of this, which you're going to get some harmonics anyway. Uh, this is, let's have a look, that's uh, 78, minus 78 dB. 78 dB down, however you want to say it. This is on 3 kilohertz, that's 80 dB down. Uh, that's 85 dB down. Let's have a look for the next highest peak, this one here. Which is uh, 90, oh no, 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 77 dB down. That's at 10 kilohertz. This one's uh, 80 dB down, and this one over here is minus 77, 77 dB down at 21 kilohertz. So, nothing really to see there, and we can still see on our that we weren't clipping, we weren't clipping at all, which is nice. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to switch this over to a square wave. And we're going to see what we do with the square wave. We're going to keep it on that temperature, of course. Uh, one thing you will notice about a square wave in the FFT is, um, because a square wave is made up of loads of sinusoidal waves, you're going to see, um, it all laid out in the FFT. Well, I'll, you, you'll see what I mean uh, just as we start doing it, actually. So let's just put this up to something. Uh, we'll go like that for now. Um, we're going to use square wave because with that, we're going to be able to see where we roll off at high frequencies and low frequencies. And I'll show you what I mean, which I'm sure you'd know this anyway. Uh, let's just turn that down so we don't need that up so high for this. Uh, one volt. Okay, slipping the square wave. We're going to turn our scope on. Let's let that get running. 10 volts per division, that's probably a bit much now. So I'll just drop that down to 5 volts per division. And turn this output on. Let's see what we got. All right, now you see what I mean on the FFT? The 3 hertz. Uh, they all come through, they're all odds as well, you'll notice. That's how it works with these square waves. So now we're at one kilohertz there, and that doesn't look particularly bad. I'm going to shift that down, I'm going to make this look a bit bigger. And you can see this little bit here. Um, that's a little bit of treble roll off, but very, very minute. Very, very minute. So let's just start, uh, we'll go up first. So let's just go to our frequency, and we're gonna go up to 10 kilohertz. I'll have to just adjust this out. Uh, go to 100. And we can have a look at that, that's still not bad, not a bad square wave. Let's just turn that to 50. 
that's not bad and now we're going to go up to 20 kilohertz and again we're keeping a square wave there which isn't too bad at all let's just drop that down again Ooh, that's not too bad little tiny bit of rounding off there little tiny bit of rounding off there but nothing nothing really too um, too upset about uh, 30 so look at that let's go to 40 let's go to 50 and as you can see it starts changing now and you can also see that the temperature is going up and up and up all right so that's up at 50 kilohertz low so let's just take that all the way down now down to 5 kilohertz and now we're going to go down lower in the frequency probably get that an extra I didn't want to get the full 100 but there you go um, we're squaring off there that's not too bad still that's sort of like a bit low there a bit high there that's the treble uh, rolling off slightly so let's just go down to 1 kilohertz and just put that back to our 5 and now we're going to go to 100 hertz now we will start seeing a slightly different story uh, 100 hertz is just the this slight little bit of roll off there trouble but as this starts declining it's nothing it's nothing but this is the base and as this goes up this shows a little bit of roll off on the base but it's still nothing really that's at 200 hertz sorry um, that's at 100 hertz let's go down to 50 oh, just go into oh it needs a bit more 500 milliseconds again this is the base rolling off a bit now but it's still not too bad at all i mean considering what it is let's go down to 20 hertz we still see over there that the frequency that the temperature is still rising 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 so that's getting very very warm and we're in at one volt per peak to peak okay but still that doesn't seem to be too bad at all too bad at all but i'm gonna just drop this off now that's 20 hertz that's 10 hertz of course was never going to be oh one was never going to be uh no i sure i just did that to, that's a lot of roll off isn't it yeah okay so that's just playing around with that on the square waves just to see what we were going to get what we weren't going to get and um i just think it was interesting to have a little look at it and have a look at how that temperature goes up I mean that does get saucily warm so I've got a funny feeling that's going to need a bigger heat sink. Uh, not even tried it at 4 ohms. But a bigger heat sink most definitely. And I'm glad that I got that on a bigger heat sink as well. Let's just keep that. I mean nothing's melting as far as I can tell. But that is definitely gets warm so that should be something to look out for if you're using a heat sink of this sort of size let's have a look what sort of size are we this is six inches by two and a half inches by one inch it's not it's not really adequate uh, for the amount of power that that can uh, be taken but then I'm running it generally at a lower voltage anyway I don't need 100 watts of power or 90 whatever it was we were getting out of it let's go back to the drawing board 97 uh, I don't need that in this room in this in this building I don't, I don't need that at all I'm quite happy playing that as I have been um, uh, do you know it does sound nice well i'm not going to say it doesn't sound nice because it does sound nice but when i went from my esp 3a amp to that i felt there was something lacking there was something just 
mm, and that could just be because I've been playing around with these op amps and you know uh, I like a sort of like clear bright sound but I also like my basses to roll that was one, one thing I did notice I mean don't get me wrong this does sound nice but when I play a particular track and this is by the by the Beach Boys, Good Vibrations. There's a part in it towards the end where it's got quite a bit of bass and there's a bit in there that rolls out at you. Uh, at least it does on the ESP. So it rolls out at you. Uh, a little bit, you hear a bit of a thing in your belly with it. Um, but it doesn't really seem to do it on this one. But that could be just because, uh, you know, I don't know, there's lots of subjectivity with these things. And... Uh, <laughs> And it's a tough one to go on, but there we go. I just thought I'd check a square way through it. Keeping on that temperature. I've actually taken the, the power off it now. I've done the power over there. And play around with some of this uh, some of this stuff that I've had. And I have been playing around with it, but I've just been getting used to using this. But I do quite like using this just for the scope side of things. And using that over there as my uh, waveform generator. And, uh, and I've also been playing with this, but the problem is with this is I can record the screens on this, you see, it's got a recording system built in, so you can just set it to record, record the screens, but every time when I power off, I keep forgetting to turn off the record, and it messes up your video file, so when I take it off, I can't actually play it back in unrecognised format, how annoying is that? And I do it every single time, otherwise we'd have had that, this on this today. I just got so frustrated with it, I thought I'd uh, switch over to the... Um, to the trusty waveforms on the on the laptop because I know that's running in the background and I won't just switch it all off without stopping videos and naming them and saving them and doing anyway hope you found that interesting uh, nice to see what we get for a 42 volts and uh, I'll catch you in the next one guys thanks for watching please say I had that turned on